All right, today we are decorating for Christmas in the living room. I'll show you just the few things that I've done already. I found this really beautiful TV art just on YouTube. If you look up just TV art Christmas on YouTube, you can find these beautiful pictures alongside music. I usually just pause them so the picture just stays on the TV, but I just loved this one. And then I took the logs out of the fireplace and put them on either side. And inside I'm using this beautiful candle holder from E. Favormart and I'm just going to see if that fits inside the fireplace with a bunch of candles I thought would look so cozy for Christmas. And last but not least, I put up our tree from Balsam Hill that we've had for the past several years. I love dressing it up different every year, so I have a bunch of velvet ornaments, some velvet bows we'll be adding, and of course some twinkle lights that I showed in my haul. But I love this tree. It's so realistic, so beautiful, and I can't wait to get it decorated. If you watched my Christmas haul video, I showed my new tree basket from Hobby Lobby, and I mentioned that I wanted to add some brown paint to warm it up and so that it would better match the other warm tone basket textures I have throughout my house. So to do this, I just found a warm toned brown acrylic paint and I watered it down just so it would go on more like a light stain or a wash rather than completely covering all the gray. After I applied my paint mixture, I used a paper towel to press the color and kind of spread it onto the basket and remove any excess. All right, that quick little DIY is done, and as you can see, it matches my baskets that are also in my living room so much better. And this was really easy to do, and it really toned down all of the gray, and it's just going to make everything look a lot more cohesive in my living room. Next, I'm taking these two mini wreaths and adding some ribbon to them so I can hang them up on my living room shelves and add a nice little pop of color. To do this, I measured the length that I wanted them to hang and then hot glued the two sides together. Then I tied a bow using that same ribbon and hot glued that to the top. And then I decided to go back in and cut little triangles on the hanging ends just to give it a more finished look. I think they both turned out so cute. I love using velvet ribbon wherever I can throughout my home this season. My living room always looks so different each year. My taste and style is always evolving, so I'm excited to see how this year's look is going to come together. I thought about using tape to hang these wreaths, but I wasn't sure if it was going to hold all season, so I just decided to stick with my tried and true way to hang things, which is with little push pins. Next, I'm bringing back my light up trees to this corner. I love how the lights balance out the Christmas tree on the other side. These are also set to a timer, so I have them turn on each evening along with my garland lights and tapered candles, which all just give this room the coziest glow. I've definitely accumulated a wide variety and collection of bottle brush trees throughout the years, so I chose these three. I liked how the muted colors kind of went together, and I'll be adding them to the middle shelf next to the wreath. Two years ago, I purchased these winter prints off of Etsy, so I'll be adding two of them into my gold frames for the bottom shelves.
And then I have two similar white handled bowls that I thought would look really cute if I added a little wreath to the bottom and then added some ornaments on top. I love the way that the light reflects off of these and the ornaments are just such an affordable way to decorate for Christmas, use in pieces and bowls that you already have and tie in the colors that you're using throughout your home. This corner is almost done. I'm putting the table and chair back and then I'll be adding in some faux pine and red berries to my large hanging wall basket just for another pop of color. And then I swapped out the twine and moss balls that I usually keep in this wooden bowl and added more ornaments. I love this vintage looking set that I picked up from Walmart. And then this gingerbread pillow is from Pottery Barn and I bought this over the summer when it was on clearance and I've been waiting and waiting to put it out. It is so soft and just looks adorable here on our chair. And this year I'm really excited to switch up my fireplace. I usually just keep wood logs in here, but this year I figured why not add some candles and just get that cozy glow going in here. So I found this really pretty gold candle holder and I knew it would be the perfect thing to put in here with my candles. Angels we have heard on high Sweetly singing o'er the plains And the mountains in reply And now for the other shelves, I'm adding in more of the same bottle brush trees. I really try to balance the colors and sizes of the items that I decorate to match the shelves on the other side. Echoing their joy strain Everything is looking so cozy, but we need to do something with my mantle. I found these gold stars from Target, I believe two or three years ago, but I did see that they have pretty much the same things out this season, only the bottoms are marble, which I thought were so pretty. And again, using my tried and true push pin to hang these gold bells that I got from Hobby Lobby this year. This was one of the items that I was so happy I grabbed early because at least in the stores near me, this is something that will definitely be sold out before November. I didn't buy too many new Christmas decor pieces this year, but my favorite purchase that I did make is this garland from Kirkland's. It's so realistic and I got them at a really great price during one of their sales. I purchased three of them because this is definitely the type that needs to be layered to make it nice and full. And when you get it layered right, it looks and feels so realistic. It's really easy to bend and work with and I just absolutely love it. I 
have a bunch of these five foot battery powered twinkle lights from Target. I love that they have the timer feature and they are perfect to add to all of your garlands and wreaths and they're only $5 a piece. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh, dashing through the snow in one horse open sleigh or er the fields we go laughing all the way and for the final touch i have another velvet bow that i'll be just layering on top of the bells bells on bobtails ring making spirits bright what fun it is to ride and sing a slaying song tonight. And I almost forgot to add our stockings. These are from Target and they match the red velvet that I'm using for the ribbon and also on my tree. And now it is finally time to decorate the Christmas tree. So I said this in one of my previous videos that I love the viral twinkling tree from Home Depot. So instead of buying a whole new tree that we didn't need, I decided to try to recreate that twinkling effect to my own tree this year. And I have to say to the viewer who commented about the slow fade twinkle lights, Thank you so much. The original set that I bought were just regular twinkling lights and I just thought it was way too fast. It just seemed too busy and distracting. So I returned those and I got the slow fade twinkle lights and they are so much better. It's just a calmer effect and I think it looks so magical and pretty. Another thing I wanted to add to my tree decor this year was fake presents in pretty wrapping paper. So I collected some Amazon boxes and found pretty plaid wrapping paper and these little gold frames that I'll be making a fun DIY with. I wish I was able to find more of these little gold frames from Hobby Lobby, but this is what it looks like with the wrapping paper on there. And then I just taped on these little hooks. So hopefully they're able to easily hang from the tree, but I think it's just gonna look so good, especially when I get the presents under there and just kind of tie everything together. And I just realized that all my hard work painting my new tree basket stand is going to be completely covered by these presents, but that's okay because it looks so elegant with a pretty matching presence underneath. I love this look. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open. I've never thought to have fake presents out just as part of my decor. I do have little kids, so every year we wait to put out all the presents until Christmas Eve, and they like to pick out their own crazy patterned wrapping paper. So this is definitely a fun DIY that I'll be doing every year. I think it looks so elegant, and it's another affordable way to decorate and tie in your color palette. How pretty are these gold frame ornaments? I can't wait to collect more for next year and it was such an easy DIY that turned out so elegant. All right, the living room is all done. I'll give you a close-up of the tree in a second, but this is an overview of everything. Oh, I need to put that back in the middle, but I just love how this turned out. I think everything just flows together really nicely and I love all of the lights. Highly recommend collecting some boxes and wrapping them under the tree. I think this wrapping paper just goes so well with all of my decor. And here are the ornaments. I just love these velvet ones and the sparkly ones, and of course these little picture frames. I need to pick up more of them throughout the year because I'm definitely gonna do this again next year. 
But yeah, this is how it turned out with the twinkle lights. I love how subtle the slow blinking lights are. The full-on twinkling lights were just a little too much. They were a little distracting, but these are just perfect. The perfect amount of twinkle. And the candles in the fireplace just look so cozy. I'm absolutely obsessed with how this turned out. Stay tuned for next week when I decorate my kitchen.